इंट्रावैस्कुलर हेमोलिस में द फर्स्ट वन इज पी एन एच बाय द नेम पेरोक्सिजमल नॉकटर्नल पेरोक्सिमल नॉकटर्नल हेमोग्लोबिन यूरिया पी एन एच ओके अब देखो दिस इज अ बेसिकली एक्वायर्ड म्यूटेशन इन द पिग ए जीन इट्स अ एक्वायर्ड म्यूटेशन इन द पिग ए जीन ओके द पिग ए जीन बिकॉज म्यूटेशन दिस लॉस बिकॉज म्यूटेशन दिस लॉस ऑफ अ जी पी आई विच इज एन एंकर प्रोटीन लॉस इन द जी पी आई and the gpi is an anchor protein gpi is an anchor protein theek hai ab what happens because of losses the loss of some proteins example cd55 and 59 actually these both cd markers are complement regulators so there is loss of complement regulators there are cause a loss of complement regulators second second they are also there also occurs a loss of the alkaline phosphatase enzyme which proves the low lap score in the patients you know the low lap score causes cml in chronic phase and the pnh with rickets so why do happen because of low alkaline phosphorylase because alkaline phosphorylase is also a gpi linked protein gpi linked protein ab dekho because of loss of cd5559 these two losses what happens is this both the loss of these two they cause increased complement activation and remember complement activation increases it is more increased it is increased especially in decreased ph and infections and decreased ph there is hypoxic condition can be seen hypoxic condition can be seen if a patient is sleeping at night so at night there is mild amount of hypoxia mild hypoxia will cause decreased ph and hence will cause increased complement activation because of the increased complement activation because of increased complement activation number 1 there is pan cytopenia with intravascular hemolysis pan cytopenia with intravascular hemolysis so if there is pan cytopenia first of all sorry pan cytopenia second is intravascular hemolysis so pan cytopenia why it happens because of huge complement activation it will lyse okay it will cause lysis of rbcs also white blood cells and platelets because of all of them getting lysed this pancreatopenia but because of pancreatopenia the bone marrow starts proliferating more and hence has hypercellular bone marrow there is intravascular hemolysis causing hemoglobinuria intravascular hemolysis causing hemoglobinuria intravascular hemolysis causing hemoglobinuria and third is thrombosis especially of the hepatic veins and that is called as butcheri syndrome hepatic vein thrombosis called as butcheri syndrome this whole thing is called as a triad is a triad finding of triad finding of pnh triad of pnh these three now how do i diagnose a case a diagnosis for diagnosis we can do some tests like acidified serum lysis test also referred to as hams test this hams test is very very important even though we don't do it right now nowadays but this test name is very important i have seen very frequently asked in the exams acidified serum lysis test we can also use we can also use the next test that is sucrose lysis testing 
सुक्रोज लाइसिस टेस्टिंग ओके एंड थर्ड वन इज द बेस्ट वन फ्लो साइटोमेट्री थर्ड इज द बेस्ट वन रेफर टू एज फ्लो साइटोमेट्री द फ्लो सेटोमेट्री फ्लो सेटोमेट्री इन दिस वॉट हैपन्स इफ दिस फ्लो सेटोमेट्री बेस्ड थिंग दिस एबसेंस ऑफ सी डी फिफ्टी फाइव एंड फिफ्टी नाइन ऑन आर बी सीज एबसेंस ऑफ सी डी फिफ्टी फाइव एंड फिफ्टी नाइन ऑन द आर बी सीज ठीक है इट इज द बेस्ट टेस्ट ओके सो हाउ टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस सपोज मेक अ ग्राफ एंड फास्टेस्ट फिंगर फर्स्ट फास्टेस्ट फिंगर फर्स्ट ओके ग्राफ ए ग्राफ बी इन वन ऑफ देम आई एम राइटिंग फिफ्टी फाइव ईयर फिफ्टी नाइन ईयर फिफ्टी फाइव ईयर एंड फिफ्टी नाइन ईयर इन वन ऑफ देम द सेल्स आर बींग सीन हियर ऐसे इन वन ऑफ देम द सेल्स आर बींग सीन हियर टेल मी Among this graph A and graph B, which of them is a P and H? Tell me. Very good. Look, A is. Normal, but this one is P and H because has absence forty five fifty nine. Therefore, the graph B is P and H. Very good. The fourth test is a recent one. It is called as F L A E R flare. It stands for fluorescent aerolysin. This fluorescent aerolysin is very new test. It's a very new test available. This test, what it does is, this test actually binds. It binds to GPI. So in P and H, there is defective binding. In P and H, there is defective binding. Okay. Now, देखो, till now the the disease that we had discussed before this topic was HS GSPD. Thalassemia, sickle cell, and since all of them are basically inherited etiologies, you can't do anything about it. But PNH is acquired mutation, and what the treatment here? We can give a C five antibody which can inhibit the activation of C five. This antibody comes by the name of Eculizumab. Eculizumab, and just like something everything else, because against mutation analysis, mutation. Uh, disease and hence you can go for hematopoietic stem cell transplantation. Okay, so this is the best therapy. But to decrease the episode of PNH lysis, you can give antibody of complement C five complement antibody. It comes by the name of Eculizumab. It comes by the name of Eculizumab. ठीक है? So moving ahead, this is about the P and H.